What if every single person on Earth clapped at the same time? Would it cause a shockwave strong enough to trigger tsunamis? Or would we not even notice? First, let's talk about Earth's gravity. It pulls everything down, which is why we have an atmosphere. And at sea level, the Earth exerts 14.7 pounds per square inch of pressure on you. This means every square inch of your body is carrying the weight of a bowling ball. That's a total of 22 tons of force pressing on you right now. That's approximately the weight of a sperm whale, the loudest animal on Earth. But there's no Krakatoa eruption of 1883, which caused the loudest sound ever measured. It erupted so violently, it ruptured the eardrums of sailors over 40 miles away. At 310 decibel, the pressure wave from the eruption circled the Earth three times and caused global tsunamis that killed over 36,000 people. But what could all humans cause instead? What would happen if we all got together in one place and clapped at the same time? We need to find a gathering place. Standing shoulder to shoulder, all 8.3 billion people on Earth will take up about 450 square miles. So we could all squeeze into Oahu, Hawaii. But to actually stand together in one massive crowd on open flat ground, we need to go to the Uyuni Salt Flats in Bolivia, the flattest place on Earth. And when it rains, the largest mirror on Earth. So awesome. But what would be even more awesome is if you liked and subscribed right now. Now, picture it every single human being alive standing together and then we all clap what happens not much the combined sound would peak around 140 decibel that's as loud as a jet engine which is serious but at worst some people get their eardrums ruptured and are permanently deaf for the rest of their lives but besides that not much but this doesn't sound right Surely, with the combined power of over 8 billion people, something crazy like a shockwave has to happen, right? It's not rocket science. Rockets One, fire. can produce so much acoustic energy that launch pads are actually flooded with over half a million gallons of water so that the water absorbs the sound and prevents the rocket and its environment from getting decimated. Desi Bell, one-tenth of a bell, named after Alexander Graham Bell. Zero decibel is the smallest sound intensity a human ear can detect, a regular conversation is about 60 decibel, and twice that is a jackhammer at 120 decibel. Here's the crazy part. A jackhammer isn't twice as loud as a regular conversation, it's a million times more intense. That's because decibel doesn't measure how loud something is. It measures intensity of sound pressure on the logarithmic scale, where every 10 decibel means about 10 times more sound energy. And at the upper end of this scale is 194 decibel, the maximum sound intensity possible in Earth's atmosphere. Beyond this, sound waves become shock waves. So for our global hand clap at 140 decibel to cause shock waves, it would need to be 250,000 times more intense. Even if all human beings that have ever existed clapped in unison, we still wouldn't reach 194. But just how many humans have existed? About 117 billion, supposedly. So right now at 8.3 billion people, 7% of all humans that have ever existed are alive and 109 billion humans have died. But 7% seems like a pretty high number, right? Well, it is, but it makes sense. Humanity has been on the brink of extinction or its global population has been relatively low for most of its history. Like when the United States was founded in 1776, the global human population was still only in the millions. But this raises an even bigger question. Who even counts as human? At what point in evolution can we pinpoint the first human and start counting humanity? We can't really say. 
A good analogy might be this wall of text. It transitions from red to blue text. But here's the challenging part. Can we pinpoint the first word that is fully blue? Of course we can. We can't say where red became blue, and we can't say when ape became human. Evolution doesn't draw lines, it paints gradients. But what we do know is that a pig and three figures were painted on a cave wall in Indonesia 45,000 years ago. This is the oldest known artwork and therefore the oldest known record of someone like us truly existing. Because to be human means to create with our hands and carve our existence into the world. Whether it's a cave painting, a written comment, a social media post, we all follow our innate desire to say I am. I am who I am. I am. This is the response God gave to Moses when asked for his name. I am. It's quite brilliant. No label, no category, no box you can put him in. He simply is. Similarly, there is no box you can put humans in. Our collective clap won't make shockwaves, but our hands build rockets that do. So don't be disappointed, our hands are awesome. So the next time you clap, remember, those same hands can take us to the moon. And maybe most importantly of all, they make eating good food pretty dang easy. Thanks for watching.